Hey, so what's the plan for today? Um, I got some questions I got to get answered. So it means I got to fire up the car on the dyno and do some engine testing. Took that restrictor out of the exhaust. It's gotta be for sure the plugs. Smell weird. Oh crap. You know, this was probably from when I hosed the engine down. Oh, really? Well, this is just a corrosion that's on the plug right now. But if you look at the actual plug itself, you know, it's running rich in a lot of areas. Maybe the heat range of the plug is not high enough. These are sevens. I've got some iridium plugs that should work a little bit better than these. But you gotta measure the gap. I mean, if the spark's being blown out, basically the spark's not making it from the electrode to um, the conductor. So just gotta check and see what the other plugs look like. It's, re it's a really simple process, to tell you the truth. It might just be dead plugs. People just assume that uh, it's something else more, more uh, ominous in their engine, but it's probably just like a $5 spark plug that's killing the system, typically. All right, here's one of the big tricks with turbo cars that people don't understand. You've got a car that's not turbo to begin with, and uh, you decide to put a turbo on it. Most people don't even pay attention to the spark plug, but if spark plug on your naturally aspirated car comes out, let's say, with a plug gap of, um, I don't know, 040. That's simply way too big a gap to be using for something that's gonna run much higher cylinder pressure once you start putting boost into it. So in this particular car, we're actually running about a 30 spark plug gap on all these. And most of the time, you wanna run about a 25 spark plug gap. So what most people get sold into is buying better coils, better ignition, blah, 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 when all they really need to do is drop the spark plug gap so that the cylinder pressure that's going up doesn't overcome the uh, ignition system's ability to have the spark jump the gap. Here's what we're doing. We're going from these seven heat range spark plugs to these colder nine heat range uh, spark plugs. You know, the higher the cylinder pressure, the higher the cylinder temps you're running, um, the more resilient you want your plug to be. And, uh, and that's the same whether you're making more boost, running more nitrous, a bigger shot, or you're running more compression. Compression, nitrous, boost, all equal more horsepower. More horsepower equals higher cylinder pressures. And, um, you need to compensate for that, but it doesn't mean you need to spend thousands on some fancy ignition system. You just gotta get the basics right. And this looks really ugly, but 
Got to put some anti seize on these threads. So just uh, lesson learned before you go and listen to some guy on a forum, check the basics first, spark plugs, uh, fuel pressure, and it may actually be something that doesn't even cost you any money to fix, like this time. All right, later.